I'm gonna tell you a little secret about me. Just in case you ever take me to lunch, one of my favorite sandwiches is a nice turkey BLT on toast. I mean, come on, first off, you had me a bacon. But when you add in the turkey, the lettuce, thick beef stick tomatoes, and a dab of mayonnaise, it's close to perfection. Now, without one historic farming innovation, that sandwich just wouldn't be the same because BLT wouldn't have the T in its name. Molly, when's lunch? The tale of the tomato is one that dates back to the days of simple farming, when a farmer grew a tomato, then harvested it. But in the early 1960s, an innovation emerged. This one meant to hasten the harvest of what are called processing tomatoes, the kind you eat in your spaghetti sauce or ketchup. The Food Machinery Chemistry Corporation, or FMC Corporation, manufactured these machines, and they rolled out into California tomato fields, this model, in 1969. I talked all things tomatoes with Deborah Reed, curator of agriculture at the Henry Ford. I know that there are red tomatoes, green tomatoes, yellow tomatoes. I thought that those were basically the only three kinds of tomatoes that exist. There are red and green striped tomatoes. There are purple tomatoes. About 10,000 wildly different varieties. But the tomato required for this machine required special engineering. Gordy Jack Hanna, the vegetable crop scientist at University of California, Davis, he spent at least 20 years trying to find the harvest tomato, the one that he could bounce and it, you know, it wouldn't splatter. Right. This didn't eliminate the need for human involvement. <laughs> Humans were essential, though it used to take 600 laborers to harvest that square a mile. And it would take about six of these machines and about 100 laborers to harvest the same. Would you like to climb up on the platform and get a close look? As many as 20 laborers who might be sorting. OK, so I'd be sorting over here, yes. right? Yes. The machine is heading that direction and clipping at the ground the vine. And, and the then... vine, yeah, rolls up into the machine. The tomatoes are coming right out there. They're coming up here. Uh -huh. And they're plopping down there. Plopping there, and the belt is rolling. And if I don't like a tomato, I throw it at someone? <laughs> you, you could. OK. <laughs> From there, they go up the elevator and get dumped into a tractor trailer that hauls the load off to a processing plant. All this before that tidy bottle of ketchup lands on your kitchen table. How does it feel in the driver's seat? Well, it feels great, but you know, I'm late for harvest season. I gotta catch up. 